Privilege and poverty are sharply contrasted in Oscar-winning Danish director Suzanne Beer's A Second Chance. The lives of a veteran police officer and an abusive junkie are mirrored in this modern morality tale. This is Red Carpet Diary at the Toronto International Film Festival. What happens is that he's with his wonderful wife and he's happy. They really want to have kids. They've been dreaming to have kids forever. Uh, one day he comes out to, he's a cop, he comes out to a domestic disturbance call and it's just horrible. There's this, this monster of a man, there's this doped up prostitute and then he finds this little baby in a closet just covering his own shit and he just feels he has to do something, so he makes a very faithful decision. Men er jo stjernepsykopat. Prøv at vi skal have mindre forældre, og han kan jo ikke have et barn. Han ender med at slå dem begge to ihjel. Så længe der ikke er tale om underernæring og barnet, eller så sundt og rest, så kan man jo ikke tvangsfjerne. Han er ikke der. Han er ikke der. Hvor er han sagde? Han er ikke der. Hvad er det fint? Alt fint? Alt er fint. Det kan jeg sgu da se på dig, det ikke er. Jeg kan da ikke bare gå nu. Jeg har aldrig været! Men han døjer nok så dejligt. And I was very excited. I got the script, I read it, and I was just blown away. And then, of course, I knew that it was just Santa was going to direct it. I, I just couldn't believe my luck. And I've been wanting to work with Nikolai for a long time, figuring out the right part and figuring out the right project. And, and, and when we got that, it was like, yes, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not turning up! 